Hi guys, today's video is going to be trying out the old wives tale um, gender predictions. I thought this would be a fun video because we are having a 16 week ultrasound like I mentioned in my 13 um, pregnancy update video. So I thought it would be fun to find out in the meantime and see if the old wives tales are actually true. First one on here is the sweet versus salty. And it says, if you find yourself craving all things sweet, that's a sign you're having a girl and salty if you're um, having a boy. And normally I definitely crave salty things like on the regular, but um, I have been enjoying like chocolate and like sour candies, um, just a few other sweets that I don't normally eat all the time. So I think it could kind of go either way because I naturally gravitate towards salty, um, but I have been having a lot more sweet lately. So um, I might give this point to the girl. Next biggest um, wives tell that I've heard is morning sickness. So normally if you have morning sickness or excessive nausea, then you're having a girl and I haven't had any uh, morning sickness at all. So um, this one's kind of an easy one to give to the boy. <laughs> vote. Um, yeah, I've been pretty lucky not to have that as a pregnancy symptom. The next one um, is pregnancy glow or not. So if you've been breaking out a lot more, that means you're having a girl. Um, if you've been like glowing and have like a super clear complexion, that means you're having a boy. And I've definitely been breaking out a ton like all over my face. So this is definitely a girl vote. It's driving me crazy and that would definitely make sense and make me feel better because I've like been breaking out all over. Um, so this will be a girl vote. This next one is kind of tricky because I can't personally figure it out, but um, if you're carrying high versus low, so if you're carrying high, that means you're having a girl. If you're carrying lower, you're having a boy. And I feel like mine is like right in the middle, <laughs> but um, I asked like friends and family on Facebook and I got a lot of votes. Um, saying that it's a girl because it looks a lot higher than their boy baby bump. So I'll give this to the girl because I really can't tell like in my 13 week pregnancy video it looks just like it's like right here in the middle. <laughs> this next one I mentioned in that video as well but the heart rate if it's over um, 140 it's supposed to be a girl and if it's lower than that it's supposed to be a boy and my heart rate for the baby has been 175 and 150, so it's definitely higher than 140. So this will be another girl vote. It's definitely stayed high um, so far. It hasn't dipped down lower than that. Okay, so the next um, old wives tale is the Chinese birth calendar. So it does it by the mother's age and then the conception month. So mine lines up um, as a boy. So this is a boy vote. <laughs> and the last test I wanted to do is the ring test over my belly because um, it was like in the fall last year, I think, maybe the summer, I did the ring test and it said that I was going to have a boy first. So now that I'm pregnant, let's see if it's still the same. So what it is, is you just take a piece of your hair. I shed really easy, so. Take a piece of your hair and then you take a ring of yours. Now I'll just loop it through. This is hard to do. Okay, and you're supposed to lay down and... Okay, if it swings in a circular motion, that means you're having a girl. If it just swings back and forth, that means you're having a boy. So let me lay down really quick and try this out. doing anything. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try what I saw someone do in another video where they tapped three times on their belly with the ring and then they waited to see what direction it went in. So I'm going to try that because it's not moving at all. <laughs> so I guess this will be a vote for the boy. And the last one I saw, um, I tried to do it just on my own, but I could not figure it out. So it's like the skull fairy, and it's the boy is more flat and kind of square, 
and if it's a girl it's going to be more like rounded and oval shaped and just looking at the baby I really cannot tell um, that's how the skull looks like it looks kind of round but then it's kind of a little bit squared off like for the forehead so I'm like torn on this one I'm not going to give a vote for this because I just I can't tell what that is it looks square and kind of round to me so there's that so I think it's a tie I think I have <laughs> equal for boy and girl so that didn't really help at all um, I need to find like a tiebreaker or something. I didn't want to do like that cabbage thing because I think it's weird to do that, especially like on camera. Um, so leave a comment down below what you think it is. Um, we'll hopefully be announcing shortly and have our final answer. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to kind of test these out because these are kind of like common things that you hear all the time. And I just wanted to see if I could get an actual answer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.